Okay. Let's see the application of the Bernoulli equation and the continuity equation. Uh, especially the, the the application that related to the relation between the velocity and the pressure of the fluid. There are many interesting application on this. We will start from the principle of the airplane wing. Uh, the airplane wing support the lift force to the airplane and make the airplane fly. Okay, and how? Uh, what is the speed principle, or how can it? How can it be like that? Okay, the principle is that the airplane wing is designed to allow the the air beneath the wing like this to flow uh, freely while the air above the wing is forced that in the way that the line of flow is squeezing or the line of flow is forced to come closer above the wing. Okay. You can see that in this figure, if the airplane move in this direction, the air will move to the left, like this. The air beneath the wing is freely moved and the line of flow is not changed or approximately not changed while the above the wing the line of flow is forced to come closer and what happened with this we can understand this by looking back to the continuity uh, uh, continuity equation again uh, we talked about this before that once the fluid moves from the area with larger uh, with larger cross-sectional area like this, if we call this A1, to the area with small uh, cross-sectional area A2. And if the velocity in the left side is V1 and the velocity on the right side is V2. We know that V2 is larger than V1. But if we try to look at this in terms of the line of flow, we can see that what happened is that the line of flow of the fluid are forced to come closer. You can see this from Okay, you can see that on the left, the line of flow is widely separate, while when it passes to the right region, the line of flow comes closer. So it means that the result of the line of flow, uh, of the squeezing of the line of flow, is that we increase the velocity of the fluid. Okay. So, if we look back to the case of the airplane wing, you can see that if I put I use uh, the velocity of the air beneath the wing as the V1 and the velocity of the air above the wing as the V2, we have that V1 is less than V2. Okay. Now, once we know the velocity, let's go back to the binary equation. We have that P1 plus rho 
G Y one plus one half of the low V one square equal to P two plus low G Y two plus one half of the low V two So, <coughs> from the Banner equation, you can see that uh, we have that V1 is less than V2, and if we look at the If we look at the vertical uh, level of the line of flow, for example, you can see that if the line of flow start here, okay, and the uh, vertical position is y1 here and when it flow up to uh, to, a cl to cross the wing the position of the line of flow is y2 here okay so you can see that we have that y1 which is the position of the line of flow before it hit the front of the wing is less than y2 okay so when you look at this Bernoulli equation y1 is less than y2 okay and v1 is less than v2 so to make this equation uh, valid okay we must have that p1 is larger than p2 then that is the point. We must have that P1 is larger than P2. Okay. So it means that the pressure uh, beneath the wing is larger than the pressure above the wing. So in terms of the force, the force from the pressure under the wing, beneath the wing, is larger than the force from the pressure above the wing. So we have the net force. is equal to the P1 minus P2 times the area of the wing. And this force is what we call the lift force. This force is the lift force. Okay, so it is the force that lifts the airplane wing. And you can see that the principle is the Bernoulli equation and the continuity equation. <coughs>